What's up guys, in this video we're going from this to this, what an upgrade. We've got GPS, we've got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, it even comes with instructions on how to configure everything and it was super easy to install. It's also perfect if you're going on a road trip and need to keep your little ones entertained. Right after installation, I connected to my mobile hotspot, downloaded the Prime Video app, logged in, and was able to stream our favorite movies right away. Check this out. Alright, so I started off by removing the side panels. The large ones on the bottom clip right off with minimal resistance as you're about to see here in just a sec. I used a plastic tool to pry open the top panels. I did find it much better to pry the top panels from the bottom a bit than work my way through the sides as you'll see on the left side so it doesn't jump out like that and potentially break. Once I got the side panels off, I used a 10 millimeter socket and two 3 inch extension bars since that's all I had at the time. Next, I removed the four screws holding the old stereo system in place. I then used a telescope magnet to get in there and easily collect the screws. I'll be sure to link everything I used in the description below. Next, I removed the AC center vents and just placed it on the dashboard. There are wires hooked to it, so I was very careful while removing it. I carefully removed all connectors from the old stereo system, including the antenna. I did get some resistance here, so I ended up using that plastic tool to help me out a bit. Again, being very careful not to damage the connectors or the wires. The new unit came with a bunch of wires including some to install a rear view camera. I'll be saving that for another video. For this video, I'll be just using the power cord with the three connectors that clip right into the ones from the old system. Next, I put the GPS in the glove compartment, fed the wire through a gap sitting between the glove compartment and the middle. From here, I just secured the GPS connector, then I did the same for the power and antenna connectors. Next, I plugged in all four clips, as you see here, which aligned perfectly. I then reattached the center vents. There's a clip right here, and a lower clip right here on both sides. Once I ensured the center vents were nice and snug, I then proceeded to reattach the side panels.
now we turn the power on and we're in business i hope you guys like this video if you did please share it give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on the notifications feature Thank you.